Alrighty, welcome back to The Catching Cook, part two of the first video. Um, speaking of that, you guys actually really liked it, so thank you. And uh, let's get right into it. Alright, so for this, we're going to be using Frank's Red Hot. They don't sponsor me, but they're going to now, because I mentioned them, so they should. Uh, and this fish crisp stuff, you can use any kind, I'm just using the original. Pretty much beer batter. So, start off, you just want to pour a crap ton of that in there. And then... Throw that down. Get some of your Frank's Red Hot. I don't know if you're supposed to shake it. We'll shake it. Throw that. Oh, okay. That's taking too long. All right. You want to just get a lot of that. We're just going to do the whole thing. All right. So, we're going to come over here, grab the fish. Let's get going. This is some pike. People say pike don't taste good, but they actually taste really good. So, this is one of the nice back strap meats. You want to dunk her in the franks first. Grab some tongs. Mix it around a little bit. Go right in the flour. Or the fish crisp. It's not really flour. It's, kind of, it's pretty much flour. Once they're like that, that's all you do pretty much. So I'm going to do the rest of this, and then we'll uh, get right back into it when we're uh, deep frying them up. Alrighty, so when you want to throw them into the deep fryer, just want to pop these bad boys up. And then let me grab the other tongs. So when you put them in the actual trays, you kind of just want to lay it so they're uh, even. But we're just going to start with one, make sure it's all good. And then you, like, you want to make sure the oil is really hot. So we'll start with this one, put her in. See, she's a little cold, but it'll still cook. We'll just leave it before we put any more. We'll just let that do its thing. And then we'll cook the rest. And uh, we'll be back when we're eating some fish tacos. All right, so I forgot to mention one thing. You'll want to let her cook in here for about five to six minutes or until it floats. You can go by either way. Um, I also wanted to mention a few things. I don't know how much I'm going to post. I'm going to try and do three to four times a week, if not more. Like, I'm just going to try and pump out stuff. It's hard because around me, there's not really anywhere good, uh, like, any good fishing spots. There's a few, but, like, we're eventually we're going to run out. But we're going to try and uh, get her going. Let's check on this guy. Ooh, nice and crispy. I love little crispy nuggets like that. I don't know why people say pike aren't good. They're actually, they turn out amazing. Uh, the only hard part is like the bones, the Y bones are really bad. Um, but once you get like, you just got to practice flaying them. Like I freaking, I still get, but like not lately, but um, when I first did, I got bones in them all the time. But you can always take them out after too. But it's easier to take them out when, uh, like after they're cooked. And so it doesn't really affect you. Just don't choke on them pretty much. Um, <laughs> so... We got these tortillas, 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 and then you can just warm them up, um, put some shit on there, and uh, yeah, we'll uh, do it when they're done. We're dropping the rest of them into the grease. That's what you want right there. Some nice big bubbles. Oh, these are going to be good. I can't wait. Well, they're uh, starting to turn out pretty good. Um, every once in a while, just grab them, do a little shake. Try not to burn yourself on hot oil, because that's not fun. Alrighty, so they're nice and golden brown. We're going to take them out. Oh, look at that. Nice and flaky, too. So they might come out in little pieces, but that's fine. Oh, yeah. Just break apart. Those are going to be good. Uh, there we go. There we go. Jump some of that on there. And that's about it. So, you want to set your oven for uh, 350. Take your shells out. I don't really need to tell you this is kind of obvious. Um, we're just gonna cook like six probably. Slap them on a sheet. Just like that. 
Now you don't even have to worry, like all you're doing is warming up, so you don't even have to let your oven warm up all the time. Just throw them in. Oh, we got a double one, but it's fine. We'll just go like that. And once those are good, we'll uh, dish up some plates and we'll show you guys. And so the dogs are gonna get the first little pieces. These two, bring them over here. Are you guys ready? Can you sit? This one's Remy. No, that's Vega. Vega, that was not very nice. You're a little shit. But yeah, so those are our two golden retrievers. Look like they enjoyed that. They were licking their chops. Are you guys good boys? Yeah. Oh, you good boy. Yeah. This one's actually my dog. I bought him and everything. He's, uh, he's something. But he's cute, so that's all that matters. So the tortillas are all ready. Pull these bad boys out. Grab the fishy nuggets. Throw those guys down. Grab the tongs. Oh, I guess I need to put this away. Alrighty, we need some plates. These are looking good. Uh, can't wait to dig into these bad boys. Oh, we might actually just have the perfect amount. We'll just load them up, I guess. Meet the first bite. Are they good? <laughs> um, here, hold this. Let me try. All right, let's dig in here. That's a lot of fish. Mm, I won't. That's actually really good. All right, so we're gonna finish eating these, and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, and we'll see you next time.